the world famous Avid Flyer, a 10 on the scale of fun. I'm not a professional pilot. I've just enjoyed flying, and I decided that uh, the kind of airplane I wanted was uh, an airplane of the class that I saw in an Avid Flyer. Yeah, yeah well, special performance is, is important. Uh, we need the off field performance, of course, that I was looking at. I got tired of going from airport to airport. I want an airplane I can get me back into the back country, the mountains, and that sort of thing. So this, this airplane had that capability. I like the looks of it. And looking at the structure, it seemed to be strong, and I just thought it'd be the best overall airplane for me. Well, probably it's kind of a unique design, and uh, it can carry so many things in it. And I kind of like it for camping. I put my bicycle and all these good things in it, which I haven't seen a little airplane that I could really do that with. And then its performance is re really good. It gets off real quick and carries a good load, carries about what it weighs empty, so, and that gives you about a, almost a four hour range. I ordered a tricycle frame, and uh, I'm going to be flying it with a tail wheel. I plan on flying it uh, probably 20% on floats, and I've got the options for all three. I have a friend who has checked out in 727s and an experienced pilot, but he, and he said there's no way that 65 horsepower in a plane like this could get up three adults. He says there's no way. But uh, and I, I anticipated well, I, I you know maybe the factory was going a little overboard with their expectations, but to everyone's amazement, including my own, three of us, my uh, brother-in-law, another guy, we got in the plane. And we couldn't believe it. We looked at each other when the plane got up on a step and finally just lifted right off the water. It was, it was amazing and, and, and it very, very satisfying. We've been um, involved with Avid Flyers now for a couple of years, uh, my brother and I, and uh, so we, uh, we were looking for a light aircraft, uh, you know, this sort of thing. And, and um, we, we looked around all the different ones that were available overseas and in Australia. And uh, we came up with the Avid Flyer as being the, the right choice for us. The Avid Flyer came to life on the drawing table in the summer of 1982 in Caldwell, Idaho. The development of this very airplane marked the birth of the light kit plane market. In the spring of 1983, the prototype made its first flight and debuted at Oshkosh that same summer, receiving the coveted Best New Design Award. Today, builders have different choices and can select from numerous Avid aircraft designs. The Avid Tail Dragger or Tri-Gear, the Avid Commuter, the Avid Amphibian, or the three-place land plane. Beyond these three designs are a number of options that can customize each airplane to meet individual needs. The Avid Flyer was designed as a viable alternative to expensive type certificated light aircraft, a step far beyond the ultralight. This airplane is perfect for the experienced pilot or the novice flyer who loves flying and wants a durable, affordable, and safe aircraft without the high cost associated with traditional factory built airplanes. This is flying at its best, flying for the excitement and pleasure that this airplane offers. Nothing can match the thrill of low and slow flight. This is where the Avid demonstrates unequaled short takeoff and landing capabilities. But don't get the idea that an Avid is limited to only this type of flying. The Avid is equally at home at higher altitudes on long-distance cross-country flights. Need an inexpensive way to get across your state? An Avid commuter could be the solution. Depending on engine configuration, an Avid sips auto gas at about 3.5 gallons per hour. Some Avid owners use their airplanes daily to commute to work. Imagine leaving the hassle of rush hour traffic thousands of feet below you. This Speedwing version, zipping along at 110 miles per hour, can go nearly 400 miles on one tank of fuel. And takeoff performance is still spectacular by anyone's standards. The Stollwing can offer takeoffs in as little as 65 feet and maintain slow flight of only 30 miles per hour. Talk about slow stall speeds, these stall planes can still fly at 26 miles per hour. Need to carry a real payload? The heavy hauler is the answer with a useful load of 650 pounds. The design wizardry of the Avid Flyer was the brainchild of veteran designer builder Dean Wilson. He designed this airplane with performance, economy, and safety in mind. He wanted a light structure with high fatigue life. 
the airplane is strong, both in the air and on the ground, when towing or trailering. Dean also wanted wings that easily folded without having to disconnect any flight controls. The result is a design that eliminates costly hangar fees by folding in two or three minutes, not hours, and by one person. With wings folded back, the Avid easily stores away in a garage. If you trailer an Avid to an airfield, you can be airborne in only a few minutes from the time you park your tow vehicle. While Avid design features can be found copied by competitors' aircraft, it's strictly a Dean Wilson innovation. The imitations may look similar to the Avid, but are miles apart in engineering design and overall structural integrity. In addition, Wilson has continued to make improvements to the Avid since the early 1983 prototype. Avid Aircraft offers four different wing options for the flyer. A high lift wing, a speed wing, a high gross stall wing, and an aerobatic speed wing. Let's take a look at some aerobatics done on the 65 horsepower Avid Speed Wing. Our first maneuver is a loop. Followed by a four point roll to the left. And now a slow roll to the right. Now let's do a wing over and finish up going into a spin. The aerobatic speed wing. A real racehorse with lightning reflex. How's that for snappy performance? By building a second set of wings, you can have different versions of an Avid depending on what type of flight is desired. You can have a speed wing or aerobatic aircraft Monday through Friday, and on the weekends be flying a stove. It's like having a second airplane. All Avids purchased as tri-gear can easily be converted to tail draggers. Merely reposition the main gear, remove the nose gear, and bolt on a tail wheel. A simple process. At the factory, the tri-gear fuselage is built with mounts for both landing gear configurations. It's here where highly qualified Avid craftsmen do 49% of the work, and this is the hard part. The remaining 51%, the fun stuff, is done by you. All the welding, machining, and structural elements are completed at the factory. Parts are carefully inventoried, individually packaged, and labeled prior to crating. Everything is included down to the last pop rivet and aircraft bolt. The Amphib is even crated with a basketball. More on that later. The only thing you need to supply is the colored paint. Kits are shipped from Caldwell, Idaho. Shortly after ordering, be ready for one bodacious box to arrive. It's about 14 feet long, 4 feet tall, and 4 feet wide. When it arrives, you'll begin a unique experience that Avid owners worldwide have likewise done. Let's take a look at the building phase. All you need are the basic tools that any average mechanically skilled person possesses. These are tools found at most hardware stores. Many kit planes can take years to build, but the Avid was designed with the difficult work already done. This FAA approved kit takes the average builder about 400 to 500 man hours to complete. A show quality airplane could involve more time to finish. Well, I had a friend help me build it and we probably had all four to five hundred hours in it. We, we didn't keep track, but uh, we put it together in about three months. Uh, I had built a little bit in the ultralight stuff before, but no real airplane. Yeah, this was the first kit I built. And I did it in two months, but I didn't do a whole lot else. Two months? Two months. How many hours was that? Uh, probably getting close to 400. Avid kits have been purchased by people all over the world. 
The high price of gas overseas makes the Avid a perfect choice, and the Avid Flyer is the leading kit plane sold in Europe. Foreigners who have heard of the Avid travel to the U.S. to events like Sun and Fun in Florida to investigate the many designs on the market. Avids are the kit plane of choice in Italy. First of all, the, uh, the machine is very, uh, very nice. It uh, offers uh, a lot of um, possibilities, like uh, floats, uh, skis, uh, it's very polyvalent. About flying, it's, it's so, uh, so, so many capabilities, uh, short takeoff, short landing, it's very interesting and ver uh, very versatile. So you've researched it pretty well and find that this is probably the, the most versatile aircraft? Yes, I think so. First thing I can remember was seeing the aircraft take off and that was the, the biggest shock I, I suppose was the, the climb out and things like that and then when I finally went for the fly in it and it was uh, it was really good you know I, I was surprised with the, the ease of flying it and we had it in some rough conditions and it handled them quite well you know it flew like a proper little aeroplane so well, I was really happy with it. Because of its superior strength an avid flyer was selected to fly to the North Pole on a special expedition. This Avid was flown by French explorer Hubert de Chauvenet in May 1987. You found that the Avid Flyer was superior to the other airplanes that you looked at then, huh? For, for this specific expedition to the North Pole, yes, the Avid Flyer was the best choice for me after a, an exhaustive study. Yes, my experience was a special experience. Not everybody go to the North Pole. Yeah. But uh, I think the good quality of this plane are easy to build, strong, and a real stall plane. That's three very... And, the, and there is another reason. Uh, this plane is very intelligent. The design is very intelligent. If you have a close look of everything, this plane seems very simple, very easy to, to design. It means it was very well designed. An avid stall was selected for an observation chase plane for a team of Russian, French and American scientists. They relied on the avid and desert testing of a special balloon which will be sent to Mars. A balloon similar to this one will eventually be launched from the Soviet Union. Testing was done near Death Valley, California in October 1990, where the avid performed flawlessly. Maybe you love the water as much as you enjoy being in the air. If so, consider the Avid Amphib. Oh yes, the basketball that we showed you earlier fits right here, making a perfect dock bumper. And if you're not that fond of the water, but like people, the Amphib will let you take two friends. Flying in an Amphib offers a thrill unmatched by most other airplanes. With the engine mounted above and behind in a pusher configuration, the visibility makes it seem more like flying in a helicopter. The headroom and legroom are features that really tall people can appreciate. This avid amphib, seen here in the choppy salt waters of Puget Sound near Seattle, can take off from and land in the water, even with three people aboard. The amphib can also taxi up on the beach or boat ramp. You can even fly your amphib over to your favorite dirt strip or airport, fold up the wings and trailer it home. The Amphib design offers lots of room inside. Try that with another kit plane. This ship is sort of like a flying pickup truck. Because of the space, one builder liked the Amphib design so much, he built a special land-only version that he affectionately calls the Landfib. It's basically the same airplane, but with all the flotation gear removed. Well, one thing is it's a pretty, I think, a pretty unique design in that the wings can fold. You can take it home with you, and uh, it's a short field uh, capability, uh, I think, has a lot to be said for it, really. And don't forget, these planes, just like the Avid Flyer, feature easy-to-fold wings and trailer ability. Perhaps you desire a more traditional-looking airplane and still want to land on water. No problem. Take a look at this beauty judged best looking kit plane at Sun and Fun 1990. This plane was built in Montana by first time kit builder Robbie Holman. Robbie, what's it like skimming across the water in your Avid? Well, it's something that's hard to explain unless you've done it because it, 
you're just skimming the water and you can touch down and, and uh, if you decide to stop you can stop if you don't you can add the power and take off and you can zoom there's nothing in the way you won't make anybody mad or get in trouble and it's kind of my way of buzzing an avid flyer equipped with amphibious floats means you can land on your favorite lake or river and taxi up the beach or boat ramp. No water? Then just land your amphibious avid on a regular runway. This avid is landing in a 14 mile per hour direct crosswind. The landing gear is stress tested to 4 G's, on one float no less. Keep in mind that you can only do this with amphibious floats, not floats only. But if you want floats only, we have that option too. Do you have a motorhome or travel trailer? If you do, schedule time with our factory. Hook up your rig to electricity and water at our expanded building facility. And take advantage of our Builder's Assist program. Avid is one of the few manufacturers who offer this service. Not because our kits are difficult to build, but some people, such as busy professionals or eager flyers, wish to expedite their assembly time or want guidance over a specific phase. Everything's handy here. And I can do uh, in five days, like I've been here four days already, and I've already probably finished uh, six weeks of work, three to six weeks of work if I would have had it at the house on my spare time. I had the time off, so I came up, and it's worth it. You can build your Avid under the watchful eye of a team of factory specialists. We love your company and know that you'll enjoy working with our folks here. No RV? Avid Aircraft has agreements with local motels. We can help you get special rates on quality lodging in beautiful Caldwell and Napa, only minutes away from both our factories and close to Boise. Let's take a brief look at some of the options. When winter rolls around, most flyers find themselves grounded because of snow. But the Avid is an all-season airplane. Skis allow you to easily take off and land on snow-covered runways or fields. This type of flying offers pleasures experienced by few kit plane owners. Our optional skis are kind of like amphibious floats. You can land on either snow or a clear asphalt surface. When considering buying a kit, verify if the competitor offers this type of ski. You'll probably find that if they do offer skis, they're most likely good for snow only. The really big difference is you won't be able to land on asphalt or other dry surfaces. Well, you're probably saying this all sounds like terrific fun, but when there's snow on the ground, it usually means it's cold outside. No problem. The optional cabin heater can break the chill and allow you to fly in the dead of winter. Special custom interiors are available in a choice of colors. And electric starter. The tow bar allows you to pull your Avid along at freeway speeds to your local airport or dirt strip. By the way, the original Avid prototype was towed on its own wheels from Caldwell, Idaho to Oshkosh 83 and back. A trip over 3,000 miles. Extra tanks are available in 14 or 18 gallon capacities and provide a total of 36 gallons in the speed wing and 28 gallons in the stow wing. The optional spare tank you see on the left of the picture holds about 7 to 9 gallons of fuel and has a storage compartment on one side. Full Lexan doors allow terrific views on both sides of the plane. A storage pod gives you more room for that added bulky cargo. Another popular option to consider is powder coating the airframe. This process can save you 50 hours or more labor in prepping steel and painting. Plus, this is an incredibly hard and durable finish, available in a wide choice of colors. An Avid can be equipped with a spray system, making it an economical way to spray crops. Talk about a versatile aircraft. This Avid can spray up to 300 acres of crops on one load with the optional Ag package. Application rates are variable from ultra-low volume to 5 gallons per acre. Unlike spray rigs seen on other kit planes, this is a real ag system. If you didn't think that Avid was a tough, versatile airplane, this should convince any skeptic. Performance, durability, versatility, and economy. The foundation of all Avid aircraft. A typical workday at Avid begins at 7 a.m. and ends at midnight. Our goal is to stay ahead in the manufacturing process to ensure that there is a surplus of parts in our inventory when kits are shipped. What about those parts? Concerned that they all fit? Here's the honest answer that we received when we asked builders about their planes. Parts fit good. Yeah, there's uh, reaming and drilling and a few things, but basically the parts fit real well. Did you have any problems with the Avid aircraft with the parts going together well? No, they, they all went together real well. But the only thing we had to do was a little bit of filing and uh, reaming out the various holes that the bolts went through. Uh, I was really surprised that they uh, did a real nice job. Uh, we didn't have any problems at all with fit. Just uh, have to ream out a few bushings and 
and holes and things like that, but it's pretty simple. Oh yeah, all the parts fit. It was uh, basically the amphib just uh, leaving some water parts off, like the hull and the wingtip pontoons and the sponsons there, and that's uh, really all I left off. Did all the parts fit? Yeah, I didn't have any trouble with any of the parts. Sure. And if I had any, uh, if I was questioning any of the parts that I received, I called the factory and they were very supportive and squared it away for me. We never had really had any problems as far as um, things that, you know, that weren't the right shape or size or anything like that. Everything always, as it came in the kit, was a matter of fact, just to the trimming up and just bowling it together. The FAA approved Seconite covering that comes with your kit looks more difficult to install than it really is. Uh, when you get to the covering, it, it goes along great. Suddenly you've got an airplane that's looking good. Uh, something that a lot of people are afraid of is the covering, but it's actually really simple and, and a, a pleasure to do it. It all of a sudden shapes up and you've got an airplane. First time builders marvel at the simplicity of this process. Using a common household iron in the covering stage is easier than pressing a shirt. Except this is fun. Take the Avid Challenge and find out why Avid is the best selling kit plane in the world. Investigate the kit plane market and decide what type of flying you would like to do. Determine your budget and narrow down the field. We're confident that you'll choose one member of our Avid family. Check with your local Experimental Aircraft Association to find kit builders. Then, ask these builders lots of questions about the quality of the kit, support after the sale, ease of assembly, and if their order was ship complete. Avid is not the only kit plane manufactured in Idaho, but Avid is the most popular and best-selling kit plane in this state. Local folks have the advantage of having a pair of reputations in their own backyard. Word of mouth advertising is our best form of local marketing. If possible, invest in a trip to Idaho and visit our factory near Boise. We don't offer a slick showroom with overstuffed sofas and flashy photos on the walls because we put our money in our airplane, not in fancy advertising. And most important, someone has to pay for all that, and it's always the customer. Avid Aircraft invests in research and development, and we offer more options for our airplanes than our competitors. We know you'll be impressed with the quality of our aircraft, products, and people. Our beauty is under the paint, and our people are our pride. If you do visit our factories, you might even bump into Dean Wilson if he isn't at the drafting table or tied up building some new project for a global expedition. This ends our formal presentation. The producer thought you might enjoy seeing a few additional flying scenes with a natural sound of the airplane. Some of these scenes were difficult to get and resulted in some new experimentation. Please bear in mind that some of these scenes are less than perfect technically, but they do show some unusual sights and really give credit to the performance of this incredible airplane. If you want to keep flying, stay buckled in for a little while longer.
tell you docker, huh? Yeah. Well, these amphibious floats, you can just go right up on shore. I didn't realize you could do that. That's great.
Cessna at idle power. Uh, it's a 6-7 alpha cross on my 2-8 lap. 